When approaching a problem like this, sometimes it is hard to figure out where to even start. One thing you can do to start this problem is to establish variables which represent the thing that you are trying to find out in this problem. Well, what is it that we are trying to find out? We are trying to find out how many cows and chickens there are based on the given information of the story problem. Because cows and chicken both start with the letter C, we have to use some other variable to represent the number of cows that we are trying to find out and the number of chickens. You can really use any variable that you wish, but in this case I'm going to use a W for cow and a K for chicken. After establishing our variables, we must write the equations that reflect given facts from within the story problem. One given piece of information is, there are 40 cows and chickens altogether. We must express this fact as an equation using the variables we established. Because we know the number of cows plus the number of chickens on the farmyard must equal 40, we can write an equation W plus K equals 40. The equation W plus K equals 40 simply represents information that was given in our story problem. Another fact that's given within the story problem is that between all of the cows and the chicken, there are 100 legs. So we must write an equation which represents the fact that there are 100 total legs between the number of cows and chicken on the farmyard. We already know that W stands for the number of cows. Because we know a cow has four legs, multiplying four by the number of cows would give us the total number of cow legs. For example, if we had two cows, we would substitute 2 in for W and multiply that for 4, which would give us a total of 8 cow legs. We know that the number of chicken on the farmyard is represented by the variable K. If we multiply the number of chicken on the farmyard by 2, that would give us the total number of chicken legs in all. It is a given that there are 100 total cow and chicken legs on the farmyard. So by adding the total number of cow legs plus the total number of chicken legs, we should come up with a total of 100 cow and chicken legs. Now we have two equations that represent the facts given from the story problem. Now that we have a system of equations, this will allow us to use substitution to figure out what the value of either W or K is. When solving for a variable, there can only be one variable in the equation when isolating. Because these equations each have two variables, we will use substitution to create an equation with only one variable and solve for that variable. Before using substitution, we must take one of our equations and set it equal to either W or K. I'm going to use the first equation because it is a lot simpler to set that equal to either W or K. In this case, I'm going to set this equation equal to K. So we must move the variable of W on the other side of our equal sign. We can see that K is equal to 40 minus W. So K and 40 minus W must have equal value. Because we set our first equation equal to K, we must take what it is equal to, 40 minus W, and substitute that in for K in our other equation. Using parentheses, we are simply going to write 40 minus W inside the parentheses where the letter K was in our second equation. Now you should notice that we only have one variable in our equation, which is W, and that allows us to isolate that one variable and figure out what the value of W is. Before solving this equation, we can do a little bit of simplification first. First, I'm going to multiply the two by each term inside the parentheses by using the distributive property. This simplifies our equation to 4W plus 80 minus 2W is equal to 100. Next, we have two W terms, so we can combine those terms because they are like terms. 4W minus 2W is, of course, 2W. So now we have an equation that we can solve. 2W plus 80 is equal to 100. The next step to get W all by itself is to get rid of that plus 80 by doing the opposite, which is to subtract 80 from both sides of our equation. This leaves us with 2W is equal to 20. Now we can see at this point that W must equal 10 because 2 times 10 is equal to 20. Even though we can see that W must equal 10, let's just divide both sides by 2 to complete our work. 
Because 2 and W are being multiplied, we are going to do the opposite operation, which is to divide by 2. So when you divide 2 by 2, that leaves us with positive 1, or positive 1 W, on the left-hand side of our equation. And on the other side, 20 divided by 2 is positive 10. So we now know that W must equal 10, or 10 cows. When you have figured out what the value of one of the two variables is, you can take that value and plug it into that variable in one of your two original equations. If we plug 10 into W of our first equation, W plus K equals 40, we now have 10 plus K equals 40. The only number that can be added to 10 to equal 40 is 30. Therefore, K must equal 30. Now we can see that 10 plus 30 does satisfy the first equation. 10 cows plus 30 chicken does indeed equal 40 total cows and chicken altogether. Now we should check to make sure that 10 cows and 30 chicken make 100 legs. We can see if this is true by plugging 10 and 30 into our variables of our second equation. Simply substitute 10 and 30 into W and K respectively into your second equation. And then when you solve the left-hand side of that equation, it should end up equaling 100 legs. 4 times 10 would give us 40 cow legs, and 2 times 30 would give us 60 chicken legs, and 40 plus 60 would give us 100 total legs altogether. So now we can confidently say that W must equal 10 and that K must equal 30.